Today I'm going to show you how to build a Simulink simulation for the problem shown right here. It says build a Simulink simulation of your system and plot results. Plot both theta dot versus theta and theta versus t for the following cases. I've included a Simulink block diagram for you to copy in figure 3. I suggest enforcing a maximum step size of 0.01 seconds and using a max time, max time of 30 seconds. Set these under simulation parameters. Also for the ideal relay case, set the hysteresis width to 0.001 or some small number. And it gives us some initial conditions here for theta and theta dot. So our system diagram looks like this. Let me zoom in here. So we have gain sum relay integrator 1, integrator 2, V to workspace, X to workspace, gain, clock, and workspace 2. So we're basically going to create this in Simulink, and then we're going to plot it. So, first off, we're going to open up MATLAB. We're going to open up Simulink. We're going to create a new Simulink file. And this is where we're going to be building our block diagram. Gain, gain, use some two integrators. Relay to workspace, to workspace, to workspace. last thing we need is a clock. Grab that guy. So we can change this to look like the picture by saying rectangular. We'll put minus minus here. Apply. Connect the first gain. No, I don't. I don't like this one. I'm gonna get a better one. It's a little bit larger. Put that one in there. No, that one's not gonna work either. Okay, so I found the right block. Hotkeys, pause, resume. Okay. Um, the block was under add, which, if you look at it, is also a sum block. Now we're going to connect them. Let's see, sum goes to the relay. Relay goes to the first integrator. Integrator goes to the second integrator. Now, really, what the integrator is doing is just saying this is theta dot, and this is theta. It's going to be a little bit easier for us to work, work with. Um, we're going to change this variable to v. We're going to connect it here. Change this variable to x. Connect it here. All right. 
we're going to format, we can rotate this flip block. We'll connect it up here, and then we will connect it to our initial gain. And we also need to connect the clock function. We'll change this to T for time, apply. All right. So now we have our initial our initial block diagram set up and we need to go back and look at our initial conditions. So what they're saying here is enforce the first thing that they say is enforce a maximum step size of 0 0.1 seconds and a max time of 30 seconds. So we do that by going up to simulation configuration parameters Okay. Um, stop time 30 and max step point zero 0.01. Apply. Okay. Um, and it looks like I left out something here on the sum. Oh, okay. This is not cor constructed correctly. I'm going to go ahead and delete that link. Add a new link in here. and uh, add a link in here. Alright, so now our block diagram is constructed correctly. So we've already set um, the first of our initial parameters. Let's see. The next case is to, it says here, also for the ideal relay case, set the hysteresis width to 0 .001 or some small number. So to set the hysteresis, we go over to the relay. And right now it just says switching on point EPS. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this to 0 .001, the switching off point. We're going to change to negative 0 .001. The output when on should be 1, and the output when off should actually be negative 1. Let's say apply. All right. Now it says for our ideal relay design, which um, let's see this this first part. It says um, our theta is going to be negative 0.375, and theta dot is zero. So to set those initial conditions, we don't actually need to add an extra block here. We just need to go into theta and say. 0 point negative 0 0.375. Apply. OK. And now we've set that initial condition. Now, the other thing that we have to tell Solid uh, Simulink is to make a graph for us. So we do that by going to. Where is it? Tools, Signal and Scope Manager. Here we go. And now we are going to add a graph. By going to Viewers, Simulink, XY Graph. I'm going to double click on that. Now it says XY Graph Type. And then it says no selection for the two inputs. So the first thing I would do is going to work going to make a selection, right click, click Edit Signals Connection, and let's see, this is probably the X selection, so we're going to select Theta, and then for the second part, we're going to do the same thing, right click, Edit Signal Connections, and we're going to select Theta Dot. I'm going to say Close, and now this should produce a graph when we run our simulation. And if you can see, there's a little viewer, there's a little uh, glass 
um, glasses icon right here, right next to theta, and right next to theta dot. So we're going to go ahead run, and it's going to start modeling our simulation right here. So x-axis is theta, y-axis is theta dot. And as you can clearly see for this first one, starts right here, goes up, and then chatters all the way down to zero. Let's try and get a better, a larger view of that. And start the simulation again, and it chatters all the way down. So to get the other, um, the other initial conditions, you can go ahead and change the initial theta and theta dot values by going and double clicking on the appropriate boxes and then they will be graphed in your XY plot. Thanks for watching this video.